Welcome to the most important day of the 2014 PSP World Cup. It's all about who wants it the most. It always comes down to execution. play well in the prelims here and so forced to fight for their lives in the champions division. I just want to see all the same intensity and fire in the eyes of our guys that were at the team meeting all together. That's the main thing that you want to see the last minute before the point. When you look into the eyes of your players and you see that they know what to do and you can rely upon them when you're looking in their eyes. It's been all Moscow Red Legion thus far here in this matchup. Dennis Golev, six confirmed kills. And Kevin Klum stepping up, six confirmed kills for him. Nice work by Moscow Red Legion's starting lineup to just decimate 187 crew. Right now, it's dig deep time for up to 187. All the bodies dead, just one left alive for Legion. And it's going to be a major. Zaleski shot Antonio in the back. Right Zaleski here. shot him from the snake? Oh, yes. million, million percent. He are are one, you sure? A million and one percent. I'm as sure as your beard is red. Well, considering my beard is like Auburn. Crucial point for 187. They still have five. It's a five on three situation right now. Cool trying to come over the top. Narula needs to bury him. Bulu is busy protecting Columbo. Nobody wants to be that guy that blows it for their team. Oh, and Coom catches 187 sleeping. Wow. Kevin Klum just stepped up and just shot three bodies right now. Kevin Klum's going to win this point. It was five on three, but no, Kevin Klum clocks in and does his job over here on the snake side. That's a perfect example of what one determined individual could do out here to completely turn the momentum of a point. Now the backs, 187 crew are truly against the wall because Moscow Red Legion is just yeah. dominant right now. We're gonna need to see some aggressive game plan. They have no choice. Oh, oh no, cool. a major Picks penalty. Up Roberts. Four bodies streaking up the field for Upton 187 crew. In just not enough time. And that horn is gonna blow. It's a valiant effort. It wasn't enough. And Moscow Red Legion going to be able to preserve their spot in the champions division. Uh, from the point of view of sports and league, this game was nothing, yeah? But from the point of view of pride and morale, that was a really important game for us, and we picked it up. Marabu, Marabu! What a crazy morning we've seen so far. Huge game coming at you right now. Our chaos is going to play Everton Impact. Пацаны, здесь ты сейчас. Никаких пенальти, никаких абсолютно. Спокойная игра. Абсолютно спокойная игра. Артхаус стиль должен быть здесь на поле. И да, мы все давление, которое есть, мы должны произнести. Our chaos sends out their starting lineup, the crew that got them to win at the last event. Everton Impact. Breaking out wide, but they lose their body on the D side. Oh God, things are not going well for Evans Impact. Our Chaos making quick work because of that off the break shooting. Better off. 
was talking to Sergey back and forth. Very good at executing these two on one situations, making sure that they talk. And here he comes, Zach Yakbeck launching down. <laughs> oh man, Fedorov clowns Zach Yakbeck a little bit. Fedorov in Snake One, mirrored up with Justin Cornell, looking across the field, trying to get that one kill on the lone body. But here comes Konstantin Fedorov launches his attack down the highway. I don't know if he got Justin, he's begging the ref, saying, No, man, I didn't catch one. Now trying to push forward. I mean, JC's just Jason, got a force yeah, field around God, him. man, yeah, he's definitely forces strong with Cornell right now. Getting a pair of kills right here. Yeah, shot Sergey cross field, gets another one. So seesaw battle here. Oh, but impact getting a major penalty right here. Oh, another, another major. Another major. Two oh majors on impact. Disaster strikes. Stop running, stop running. Yeah, let's go. Here comes Burnikov past the 50 yard line all the way on the impact side of the field and is going to trade out. And that's going to be another exactly. major. Zane's going to get another major. Our chaos is one point away from taking this victory and heading on to the finals to take on Tampa Bay Damage. Let's go, boys. We play five on two, guys. No penalty. They will try to give penalty. This five on two right here. Most likely going to be a bloodbath point here. Not really much they're going to be able to do. But it looks like a penalty coming in minor on Edmonton impact. And that is going to do it. So kind of an anticlimactic finish to this very close game. Edmonton impact shooting themselves in the foot. Just getting a baker's dozen of penalties over here. Talk about utter collapse for Edmonton yeah. impact. Division one final match is about to go down between Portland Uprising and Trade My Gun Outlaws. Remember where we are. Remember how hard we fought. We continue fighting. This is our championship to win. You guys have put in a lot of work this year. We all have, and we're going to beat this team now. Trust in your brothers, and when we're down, attack! One, two, three, uprising! Hey, head and heart, and shoot these pupsies in there! Ah! 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 He's he he Uprising, charging up that Dorito side, getting picked off, going into Dorito two. A lot of pressure out here right now on these guys. I mean, yeah, we'd like to see some aggressive play, but at the same time, these guys don't want to be the guy that makes the mistake and blow the first point and shift the momentum to the other team. A lot of communication going on. Here comes a big move down the sideline to trade my gun. I think he thought about pulling up, <laughs> but then kind of just couldn't hit the brakes like he thought he was going to be able to. Nonetheless, both layers come off that Dorito side. Just Tommy Tucker left alive. They're going to trade out, just leave. One body left alive for Trade My Gun. Uprising, he's going to turn the corner now into Snake 2. A little paint went flying by, but he's still got in there alive. And Uprising going to triple stack the Snake now. Oh, he uh, gets taken out. What a shot. Let's see here. Are they going to come into the Snake? Yes, they are. Oh, yeah, they're going to pull him out. I thought Mark Johnson might have actually got him first, but those trades like that, they're always really close. Well, regardless, hey man, Uprising, great job. The Outlaws are going to concede the point. Hey, Tommy, we need to talk, go, all right? We had three in the state at one point. I just heard from our stats guys that Alex Gray from Portland Uprising actually got shot by his own player. And to add a little bit more to the madness over for Uprising, they just got a major penalty, which is going to pull that guy that got shot and two more bodies off. Hey, Graham, 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 Graham. Graham, don't, Graham, don't worry about it, baby. Don't worry about it, baby. Oh, I'm not, I'm not kind of high. Graham, are you good? Are you composed? Good. 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 Okay, let's go. Good. Good. Guys, stay composed, guys. We're getting those kills. Uprising, trying to get something going up the middle of the field. And here comes the big move down the wire by Mikowski. He's going to get one, but that's going to be it. And it looks like Trade My Gun losing their fourth body. Just Berkeley left here in the snake side corner, and he is going to get shot hey. by Uprising coming through the middle of the field. Let's go, Uprising. We need this point. Let's hustle. Two to two, three twenty-seven to go, and here comes Uprising up the center. And Uprising getting a penalty. Kyle Martell went back up to that A, having some success there last point, but his teammates all got pulled and he just got destroyed. Only beat us when we got penalties, guys. They can't handle it. Let's we gotta stay alive. Watch. No penalties. Uprising, let's go, guys. Let's get this point and let's come out and win this shit.
looks like just an atom bomb goes off over on Uprising side, and it's looking real solid right now for the Outlaws. But there are two players left alive, but one of them is all the way in here in the Snake side, and I don't think anyone knows he's there. I think Mark Johnson knows he's there, and he is going to stab out that player and then blow the last one to pieces. Hey, Uprising! That's Uprising! Yeah. I'm going to call our time out, so relax. Okay, listen, here's what's up. We need two points real quick or we're going home. They're seeing you come up the middle now. That's like I said. Hey, we call you need to come out to the blind on this side and then I go. I need my mask. Okay? Come out to the blind so the hey, snake Hey, Tommy, check your goggles. This your micro sucks ass. Chance. Put him in and oh, use the A right. to block out the your snake side. Your goggles are Okay? Go ahead. Body dropping off the D side of the field because here comes Uprising up through the center, hunting down, and he gets torched though, forgets just that there's a guy in Snake 1. And still though, this is what they needed to do. Gonna put another point on the board, gonna make this a one point game. It's a minute 30, no time out, we gotta go again. Tommy, same thing, switch the sides, switch the sides, on the side. Oh, oh major no. penalty. Oh disaster. my god, a disaster for the Outlaws. The door is now swinging gigantically wide open for Uprising. We're playing to win, all right? Tied yeah. up? Yeah. A minute left. Can we kill someone we win? Can we kill someone we win? Off the break, it looks like. Another penalty? Yeah, right there. On the break. And oh, Uprising no. might have just done it here. Uh-oh, well, throwing a body everybody, away. Everybody's dying. Uprising, it looked like they had it. There's one body left alive on the field. So congratulations to the Outlaws. They got a major too! Yeah, they got a major. They got a major. They got a major. Tommy. Здесь и сейчас мы должны это сделать. Все, что было в прошлом, вообще забудьте все игры. Сейчас все 150 процентов. Welcome back here, the most important game of the year to see who we are going to crown 2014 world champion. And it looks like the first to strike is our chaos. And Two so players on, walking up. So is Jacob Edwards off that Dorito side. That's going to allow Mishka Kinyazev to get up into the Dorito too right away. And he's going to look to get a kill across the field. He puts one right on top of the head of Chad Bougere and then jumps into the 50 Dorito as Konstantin Fedorov comes through the middle of the field. Not getting off to a good start here. Tampa Bay damage. Another terrible break right here for Tampa Bay damage. They have two players left alive, but now better off on the attack. Snake side. Our chaos again making quick work. Hey, let's go, boys. Let's go. Tampa Bay damage not getting it done here in the start of these points. They have not been able to play with five yet. They are just dominating right now, particularly in the first opening seconds of every single point. Here comes Beardnikov and Jason Edwards going to square off on each other. And Jason Edwards going to grab a couple extra from Fedorov and Lukashu. God, they're just making it look easy. Chaos, trying to shut out a team in the World Cup Final for only the second time in the history of the game. That was some of the guys we're watching here from our chaos. Better up, and that was in up. 2010, so yeah. four years ago. It was Asian aftershock Red Legion. Both corners left alive for Tampa Bay damage. Fedorov using his gun to back all the way up from the snake to the snake side corner to put some paint back in over the A onto Daniel Hall today. Now he's going to work the wire. Try and help Axel Godin, and he's going to light Brian Smith up. Oh. And Axel Godin now is going to have free reign down the snake and just peels Daniel Holiday apart. Konstantin Fedorov putting that finger in the air at number one. But hey, man, they're proving it out here. They're one point away from the second ever shutout. Hey, let's go, boys. One more. Good job, Axel. Good job. They're getting at least two Gs in the break almost every single point. I mean, Mishka and Fedorov, two of the best players to ever pick up a paintball gun, definitely showing you why. Here comes Art Chaos, looking like they are going to put the last and final point on the board. And Fedorov pumps his gun to the sky. And what an amazing performance. The kill count leader for Art Chaos, Mishka Kiesnev, with 10. Right behind him, Konstantin Fedorov with seven. <laughs> it's unbelievable how consistent that guy is. The only World Cup he didn't play in was last year. Every other World Cup final for the past 10 years has been Konstantin Fedorov. And Almost, you know Mishka but... <laughs> was there with him every step of the way as well. That's the number one right now. It's unbelievable, but second time, we did it 7-0. I mean, 
Я не знаю, что сказать. Ну, реально, пацаны, всем спасибо большое. играли как команда. За то, что реально мы, мы бились, и мы показали. В первую очередь, каждый из вас себе доказал, что можно. И никого не надо бояться. Бояться все равно. You should just make a, a field full of all stand-up bunkers. All stand-ups. Yeah. We got a crawl for adults. Lots of Doritos. Line them up. Yeah. Stand. It's a wall yeah. that you have to climb over. Yeah. Throw grappling hooks. Just show me the heat. Mark, I didn't know why anything. Just show me the heat. Uh, Close side. Close side again. Is that going to go now? Почему я каждый год возвращаюсь и снова и снова на поля и играю каждый год? Наверное, потому что это большая семья и все чувства, которые ты испытываешь на поле, вне поля, это действительно что-то такое, от чего нельзя просто так отказаться.